Hello. Um, so I have a vested interest in any situation in which white Europeans are attacking people abroad. You know, all here, really, but it seems to be less here and more there, you know. And um, that's because, you know, I, I can see what's what's right and what's true. And I can see in this example that Israel was created by the British. I'm British, obviously. And um, therefore, it's like... It's like heartbreaking for me and I, I think it's a bit beyond the point now where I could ever be proud of being British. I think that that's um it's just it's just not possible for me because I I've seen what Britain has done and who they are. Um but maybe if you know my generation or the generation above mine even stopped being awful to people abroad then Maybe my kids or my grandkids or my great grandkids could be proud of being British and not have to feel a kind of crushing pit of dread whenever we think about what our country's done and what we have created around the world. It's actually a really, really horrible feeling to think that people that look like me, people who might I might be related to, have gone around the world and caused so much harm and so much destruction and so much death that isn't what I want my story to be so it can't be what my country's story is also I am really horrified not only do we accept as white Europeans that after World War II we just you know had a kind of a ploy to remove all the Jews from Europe and put them in Palestine, as if that's not very similar to just removing them, you know, in another way. But that, if you talk about how that's actually not okay, that that's now considered anti-Jewish. Um, I just think that that's an incredible spin on what the reality is. The reality is that Jewish people, like any other religion of people, should be happy and safe to live in Europe. That's That's where we should be at. And that we've like literally in my grandfather's generation and my father's generation and my generation, not actually turned around and said, you're safe here, you're you're well here, you're happy here, you can have your homes here, and have instead evacuated these people to a land that isn't theirs, you know, um, and belongs to someone else, and then funded them to constantly be at war. Again, like... I bring this back to trans rights activism because so many parallels with it. Like, the whole idea that Jews are only safe in Israel is really cruel, actually. I think that there has been enough, trust me, propaganda about how the Jews are victims of the Second World War and they're the ones that we should constantly focus on. None of us even remember that, you know, the Russians gave 26 million people. It's all about the Hitler being bad and the Jews being good. And... I'm not saying that either of those things aren't, aren't correct in regards to World War II. I'm saying that it is a narrative that has been pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed through our education system to such a point that I would think it was highly unlikely that European Jews are not safe in Europe. I think they're far safer here than they would be in Palestine. And I think Palestinians would be far safer here. So for me, like the, you know, diplomacy is free. The only the only way to rectify this is to say continually, even when we're shouted at, spat at, told off, called names, said that we're xenophobic, said that we're racist, said that we're anti-Semites, for saying these words, it has to continue to be said because it's the only thing that is okay. And that is white European Jews are welcome in their home and their home is Europe, not Palestine. You know, apparently that makes me the worst person on earth to say that, but I want to say it more and more and more. I don't care whether white Europeans are Jewish, Muslim, Christian. I don't care. I don't care what religion you identify as having. If you're from Europe, then you should have a home in Europe. This is where you belong, here in Europe. And, you know, I've lived abroad. And one thing that I've I've kind of noticed from living abroad is that you always lose a bit of your heart when you move away. You always, like, like give a bit of your love away to a new landscape or a new place or new people. And if you then have to move 
back or forward from that, you're always going to be a little bit heartbroken. That's, that's the truth of globalism. European Jews that were evacuated from Europe after the Second World War, they were never, ever, ever going to feel anything but heartbreak somewhere like Palestine. And I know there's the revisionism and there's the change and there's the this is their land and they were here thousands of years ago. It doesn't matter. To me, it just doesn't matter. What matters is that white European families were removed from Europe. And we all said that that was fine because... I don't even want to talk about why, because I think it's so it's so awful, you know, and um, they aren't safe in Israel. It was a yarn that they would only be safe in Israel. And the Zionists used Operation Susanna and a variety of other ways of convincing Jewish people that the only place they could be safe in Israel just like trans rights activists tell people who identify as transgender that the only place that they'll be safe is with other people under the rainbow. It's othering. It makes you look at everyone else as an enemy. And I don't think that that's what we are. I'm, I don't consider people who are white and Jewish to be my enemy. I consider them to be my nearest brothers and sisters, the people that I should share a land with. And that's the message that I think that we need. And I don't just think that that's best for Jews and for my guilt complex. I also think it's the only way to have diplomacy moving forward. Like, how are we supposed to have diplomatic relations with Iran, Africa or Palestine if these people are still looking up and seeing white Europeans murdering brown people? Because fundamentally, that's what it comes down to. You can put the spins on it, you can revise it as much as you like, but fundamentally, that is what's happening in Palestine. White European invaders are murdering Arabs. And we're supposed to accept that. We're supposed to accept blokes like the guy on my last video who said that Palestine wasn't a map on a map, written, drawn by white people, so it doesn't exist and it never had. That's what we're supposed to accept. I will not accept that. And I won't accept it for myself, my children, or my country. And in fact, I'm not going to accept it for Europeans who identify themselves as Jewish. If that's their religion, then peace be with them. They should be safe and free here just like anyone else. That's why I am so interested in the Palestinian and Israeli conflict.